la 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 Dear friends, this is the day of French fries. This is JCB Live, bonjour, bonsoir, with Rafa in the kitchen for our wine style. Today I'm dressed like the young Napoleon. You know why? Because this is about the time when French fries were discovered in France. As such, in 1785 under the Pont Neuf, a beautiful bridge in Paris. And you had people carving into this beautiful Kennenbeck potato. Isn't she gorgeous? This is the one you're gonna be carving from. It is, today. yes, exactly. A tomato, a potato, almost a tomato, as you all know, discovered by the Incas originally and brought in Ireland in the early 1600s. But of course, the French, loving that beautiful vegetable, decided to really perfect the different shapes of fries. As early as even pre-French Revolution, we started to see French fries being prepared in the countryside of France. Of course, the bad mouth say they were invented <laughs> in Belgium. No, the Belgium did potato fritas, the large one. They cut it and they fried it. But the French can own the shape and the style. This is why, Raphael, as you're going to tell us all about it, we need to honor the parts of the Americas that we love with the art collection Raymond Chardonnay. Amazing. And Raphael actually selected this wine today because it's rich, it's very fruity, and it's buttery. Yep. And that buttery characteristics with French fries, we're going to show them to you under multiple ways. This is why the shape is important, but all the garnishing. And then we're going to go with the nail. Oh. Because the nail is going to show us that wine is great, but maybe there's a better preparation as far as the liquid that could go with French fries. I won't say anything. You're going to have to stay with us to see the ravishing Danel presenting something extremely innovative that I never thought I would adore. Wow. And now, Raphael, you should really show us. Mm. Even alone, full of exotism, wow. grapefruit, pineapple. God, what a wine. Wow. Stephanie always makes miracle in the cellar and we could see it. But Raphael... And that's just talking about Stephanie, you know, we gotta give some credit to somebody else in here in the garden too. Joe. Joe Papen. Look at this. It's coming from a garden, you know, it's something that we start... I told, I talked to Joe last year, said like, can you please grow some potatoes for us? We grow different varieties, fringlings, you name it, sandchokes, everything pretty much in the garden, biodynamic, organic, 100%. But this one, this is the results we have for the potatoes. There was, there was, there were harvest couple, couple months ago. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Ah, ah, ah. Woo. So, so let's go. <laughs> so this is the Ken and Beck again. I mentioned it earlier. Yes. Really came to Maine in 1941, has been a great potato, specifically in the northeast of the US, but now Midwest and Canada, to make a very generous, rich, and in some ways, crispiness. The crispiness. Crispiness the that you want for French fries. So for this potato, we gonna it's a it's a trick to cut a potato. It's not just cutting it. You're gonna cut it in the mandolin and the slice or whatever, but you can use your knife at home. It is not a problem to use it, right? So what I do, I cut this, the potatoes here moves and it's, it's dangerous, you can cut yourself easy too. But if you do this, that, and then you're gonna set your potato to that, right? Now the potato is not going anywhere. So now we're gonna cut. From here you go the size, how you want your potato. I got different size, different shapes, different everything, see? I got thick and I got the small ones. Oh, oh hot! 108.2. He's getting excited right? when he talks about shape and potatoes. And then some curly. I did some curly in here. Oh, I like oh, the curly I ones. This uh, little machine. 
and then I did in uh, Julian. So Julian like Julian. So for this again, Bukai. Ah! Ah! How? <laughs> it's all in the art of cutting, right? And we recommend don't buy frozen tomatoes. You potatoes, you could do it. You can achieve beautiful French fries on your own. It's so much fun to make them and quite easy to achieve. Easy, super easy. So for this one, like the end cut, I don't want to waste, of course, we don't waste anything here, right? Then if you want it like really thin, just go very thin, cut that. So then that I with like really thin slices, right? So, but like I said, you cut it. And you keep the skin. Oh yeah, the skin. You don't want to peel them because it's got a nice body to it. That's right. That's what you're looking for in a French fry. So the next one. We're so excited about the different dressing we're going to show you. So fun <laughs> here. Go, go ahead to the bowl. La, 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 la. So next, we'll throw the potato in here. What about if I want to do a so, very thick one? Yeah, this one you can put them in ice, ice water, so uh, so it's, uh, so they release a little bit of the of the starch. So if you don't want it, uh, my trick is put a little bit of cornstarch. Just about a tablespoon of cornstarch. That's right? always a great idea. Always a great idea. Toss them. Everything in the wrist. He's like a French general. The and brigade of the kitchen. We want to poach him. Ah. You're gonna poach him in, uh, in an oil, poach him for like last 10 minutes. Now we need to get magical Dylan to come closer right? because that's the art of poaching. Dylan, so look. Poach him that. and let it cool off, right? Whoa. Literally for last 10 minutes. See? Look at John Charles. And this one you can keep them in a. And the good thing about putting in the cornstarch, they're not gonna stick together. Because you, this one you have to refrigerate them and let them cool off in the refrigerator. And all preferences, you can put them in the freezer. Yes. And we need a french fry, just pull them out yes. and fry them, right? That make four, them fresh. At 400 degrees. Okay. Rafael, I think we're missing something here. Oh. A little art collection in the oil. Yes! Yes! It's all about the fire. The first gun. Wait, so we did a little poaching, like I said, a little quick. See, like you try, like see that, John Carroll? Yeah, they're really Love nice. It. They're not sticking, they're not like you know, because they release a lot of the glue and the starch from the potatoes. So when they corn starch, it, it's not gonna do that. And you're gonna end up with a nice crispy potato. So let it cool out in the refrigerator or the freezer, prefer in the freezer, and then that's it. You can prepare it ahead of time. Your friends comes over and then, then do some french fries. Throw them in the fryer, 400 degrees, and then you're good. It's and nice and crispy, water, crispy, vibrant, yep. buttery chardonnay. Fabulous. Beautiful. So can we try? Well, that one's just being pulled, right? No, yeah, but it but gives a good indication. Yeah, like I said, look at these ones. They're so nice and Did delicious. you see, I, I went very thick. Oh, wow. My grandmother used to make them this way, like in Quebec. You probably all know the poutine, mm -hmm. the very famous melted cheese and cream recipe from the Quebecois. They make it thick, so yeah. it goes between them. Makes sense. And it's so rich and fabulous. We need to think about our friend from Quebec once This is while. amazing. So now we're finishing here. We have the potatoes. Like I say, these ones are ready to go. We're going to fry them, and then next we're going to move on to Famous Danelle. Oh, let's, next. let's go and see Danelle. She and has some very, very unique, thoughtful ideas. Yeah. She's been preparing the cocktail of the year. Now with the exceptional Bloody Danelle. Ooh la la. Dear friends, you actually know why we called it Bloody Mary. This was in honor or dishonor of the first queen of England. Her name was Mary, and she was a bloody queen, so the drink derives from her. I but, didn't know that. But today, Danelle created something amazing, and I cannot wait to put my lips into it, specifically with the fries. So, since you know the history of the name of the Bloody Mary, we'll have to find out the name of where the history is for the Bloody Maria. 
Have you ever heard of that? No. That's with tequila instead of vodka. Well, it has to vodka. come from Mexico somewhere. Probably somewhere. So today we're going to do one with the JCB gin. So I know that gin is one of your favorites. And the gin, dear friends, is made exclusively from wine. We make Chardonnay, we make Pinot Noir. Four months later, after making wine, we blend them together. Then we distill. Then we infuse the juniper for around 60 days. After that, we take it out. We infuse the nine biodynamic plants, chamomile, vervinia, yarrow, nettle, etc. We take them out. And then over 35 different unique organic plants from Burgundy. So this is the gin that has the most amount of flavor, richness, density. This is the most high gin on the market. So it's unusual that Danelle dares to put our gin in a cocktail, but I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna do in a we're gonna do it in a shaker with ice this time because I want to shake this one up. Ooh. We're gonna do two ounces of the JCB gin. The professor is watching and he's anxious. Steve, four ounces of tomato juice and. Raphael was nice enough to make me fresh squeezed tomato juice. The tomatoes are abundant oh, in the garden right now. Makes a huge awesome. difference, doesn't it? It does, huge. We're gonna do, we're gonna squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. about a half of a lemon. We're gonna do garlic. Ooh. Yeah, minced garlic. So you're really gonna go French so this it's time. It's totally different. So. Don't do too much. Do maybe maybe a quarter of a clove unless you love, love, love garlic. Yes. But it gets a little overpowering. But it's a great idea because we're going to pair it with the french fries. Right, right. And then I have a tablespoon of prepared horseradish, not cream horseradish, mm. just prepared. And the cream would have been too mushy. Too mushy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do, this is golden balsamic vinegar. Oh. Yes. Can I smell? You can. Mmm, very interesting. A tablespoon of golden balsamic. Your f famous Worcestershire. Sister. Worcestershire. Impossible to pronounce as a Frenchman. So, so a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Uh, we're going to do a couple of dashes of Tabasco. Of course. That's the spice. That's this, Well, the horseradish is the good spice too. Mm -hmm. The Tabasco is kind of the fire. That's right. Yeah. But it makes it for a good Bloody Mary. That it way. does. A couple of dashes of celery salt mm. and pepper. That's perfect. Okay. Well, we need to find the pepper. I will look for the pepper. <laughs> okay. Where is the pepper? pepper. <laughs> and that's it. So we're going to put this on. Yes. We're going to shake this up. Look at this. I cannot wait. This has a yeah, gorgeous nice. color through. Yeah. Through Can and you through. add a little more ice to the cup here? You know, and it's so cool. Bloody Mary's always vodka. We've, we've had it with a truffle vodka, mm -hmm. which was beautiful as well. But I'm so excited with the gin because I could not imagine it would work. So I'm yeah, no, it's very delicious. curious. So we're going to garnish always with a Bloody Mary. We're going to put some celery. From the garden. From the garden. Look, so how did you prepare bacon. the just simple in the oven? No, I fried it. You fried, I fried it. it. And when you, if you put a pan on top of it while it's frying, it'll stay uh, flat. Yes. It won't curl up. Ah. And then I this used is like some, of hairdressing the, advice. some of the tomatoes that Raphael made the tomato juice with. I put those on a little pick and we can put those in there too Look at to make this. it beautiful. And there you go. This is magical, dear friends. Look at the beauty, the density, you could see the celery, the horseradish. When shall we try? Right now. Are you sure? Take a taste. So I'm going to take out the garnish to put it back with the french fries, but before I got to have a, a feeling. Amazing. Why amazing? Clean, rich, and full of flavor. I mean, obviously homemade tomatoes right. makes a big deal right. and naturally all those great natural ingredients. I'm amazed about the herb, the aromatic, and even on the back end, the juniper. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And I could feel a little bit of the juniper, yes. which really lifts it. Danelle, congratulations! Thank you! Well, let's go now with the French fries and try it with it. And now we are back with Raphael. It's going to be thrilling because we have a new wine, the famous American vintage from Secret Indulgence. Multiple grape varieties blended together to honor every one of the preparation today. So we're going to do two ways. We're going to start with Donnell and Rafa on the American style of the French fries. And I will close with a little bit of a French twist. Cheers. Cheers. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with how I like to eat my French fries. Aha. So this is typical American style French fries. And I think that I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the, the big cut ones. Donnell always goes for the big size. Bigger the better. Because she thinks there's a more material you could put <laughs> on them and enrich this, right? Absolutely. Do you want to put more? On? On? I love, baby. You no, I'm it? good. I'm good. Oh, I'm making mine. Oh, I... You make yours. So yeah. you could do that at home. It's a lot of fun. Multiple different fries, different style of topping. And it's a buffet of fries. And then I'm going to add chili. Oh, I need to show everybody. Hot. Is it hot here? Yeah. Look at that, dear friend. So, Danelle prepared her own chili. And it has a twist, your chili, tell us. It's very just, special how you make your chili. Just, Don't you please with a little bit of cinnamon? That's your secret? And a little bit of brown sugar too, actually. Yeah. Yep. So brown sugar and cinnamon. Yep. Wow, I cannot wait. So I'm gonna pour chili all over the top that of mine. That's so delicious. Oof. I love it. And then that oh. looks pretty cool when you think about it. It's gonna go great with the Bloody Mary too. Mmm. You're gonna have to try for it. And then all the all-American cheese. Which is? I won't say the name of it, but... So no Conte, no Gruyere, yeah. no Emotel. Today we want America, a little bit of mix. Yes. Oh! <laughs> I'm almost feeling I'm in a movie theater <laughs> with the nachos. This is Cheese. actually pretty fun. I'm going to put some sour cream, of course. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> This is really nice. And my favorite part is the bacon bits. On top of this. Oh, top. yeah, yeah. I'm bad. Have a little chai maybe in there for color, you know? Mm. I'll let you do that. A couple of chai in there. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Look at that. Instead of green, green oh. scallions. Daniel, I'm going to show what? it. This is so spectacular. That's it. She's taking over. I think uh -huh. you are winning the contest today. <laughs> well, we're going to leave it here because this is really a beautiful presentation and got so many flavors. And Donnell, you think those two together? I think that's wow. perfect. Mm. Now on mine, I'm gonna go simple. Cause I like simple. That's hard to believe. Oh. <laughs> so for mine, I'm gonna choose, oh, I'm gonna choose this one. How about, you know, I'm gonna use this one. The curly, they're so crispy, they're almost breaking, see? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do I'm gonna some salt. Mm. And do a little bit of truffle. Oh really? Truffle oil? Truffle oil. Just a touch. Which is the Oakville grocery. Yes, I oil that we make with truffle shuffle. The great boys. And I'm gonna do some spelet. Piment of espelet. Piment de espelet. It's coming from the southwest of France. Little touch of that. A little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh. This is what you can find at my atelier. See that? Look at him. <laughs> this is another good one. See? Mm. And I'm going to grab it so the gentle. Oil. Yeah, the, look at that. She's right there, right on top of the bowl. And I like extra cheese. <laughs> make it snow, make it rain. It's just all about excess today, isn't it? All about excess. And I'm gonna finish it with just a little bit, just a touch. That's it, because you don't want to over, overpower it. Pop, make it too crazy, and then do your four cross. And, like I said, chai. Another chai, huh? Wow, that is that's that's it. That's great. So, dear friends, this is Raphael's creation. Look at that. Beautiful. Parmesan truffle olive oil from Oakville Grocery. 
a little chive and it looks ravishing. So shall I try mine? Pass on yours. You know my pêche mignon, my weakness is of course caviar. Caviar? Oh, oh, oh go Fuji. look at this. Gangsha's gonna go. I'm gonna go wow. So I'm going with the Sevruga, which is not as rich and open as the Beluga purposely, because I'm gonna use those little fries. Look at how cute they are. I'm gonna create Maybe first a little bit of crème fraîche because Danelle really tempted me with that. As you put a little crème fraîche on your caviar, why not here, right? So I'm doing this. I'm going to use maybe a little nice egg. Huh? So farm free ranch chicken from Raymond, and I'm going to shave very gently here, a little bit everywhere. So it looks not only nice for the eye, but really complements wow. the caviar. Look at that beautiful yolk. Woo! And then I'm using my pearl spoon on the lacet, you know, you call them horseshoe, right? I call them in French lacet. Yes. So now, here we are, the foie, the caviar. You've been generous in there, huh? Oh, yes, because I know we're going to have it together, you know? So we've got to have a great feel. And maybe I'll, I was inspired by your idea of chai. Okay. Because it's always good with a little nice starch and color. Yeah, it's... And I have a... Remember that little piece you asked me to... Um... Well, I'm going to do another one with this one. Oh, another one? Oh, yeah, okay. for sure. Look at this baby. Unbelievable. Caviar, French fries. Ooh la la. But now, dear friends, we're going for the ultimate. So, maybe we're gonna ask Dylan to come very close to see how I'm gonna lay the fries. So Dylan, come close to us, because I'm gonna build a little house. And from that little house, I'm gonna be very excessive. You can see that. I'm building a foundation. Look at this one, the crispy. Yes. And then I'm gonna add a few more crispy ones. And then I'm gonna suggest a little chive under, so it looks beautiful. I'm gonna be very excessive, Raphael. I'm gonna put a little crème fraîche just here, so it's gonna melt even more. Right, you can see that this is gonna bring the fries together. Mmm! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then we're gonna go with foie gras! You wanna put it in? Absolutely. Look at that, dear friends. Oh! Oh! oh. It's beautiful! Maybe a little more chive. Because chive goes quite well with foie gras. Foie gras made by my friend Rafa and Danel. This is a true partnership of the both of them. And look at it. So this one I really recommend we use maybe a fork and a knife to go right in. So the juice of the foie gras melts fabulously with fries. Oh yeah, 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 ooh la 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 la. I think it's time for us to do a bubble. Oh. Un, deux. Donnell needs to try the fries and the Donnell Mary, the bloody Donnell. Before we finish, we need to have Donnell tell us. Ooh. We need to hear some sound, maybe some scream, maybe some joy. That is delicious. Can you well, we, we want to hear more noise. That is delicious. Oh, really? Oh, my family will try. And Donnell, you know, I'm dying to try. Fork? I'm dying to try. Oh. Isn't it great? My goodness. Oh, look at this one. I've tried and I know it's oh. amazing. Wow. So, dear friends, you can see today how much fun we've had. French fries, thanks to Rafa's creativity, cut five different ways. We built a beautiful, typical American chili 
which looks amazing and we're gonna dive right in. We went then to a lighter truffle oil, maybe a little influence of Italy's version. Then we went to the caviar and we finished because it's allowed now in California, foie gras French fries. Don't call them freedom fries. Don't call them Belgium fries. They are still French fries. We cannot wait to see you soon again on JCB Live Wine Style. And let's finish our bon bourguignon. La 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 la.